MPP or Mechanical Productivity Pack is a tool for designers, engineers, contractors, and builders. The MPP has been specifically created to coordinate data in a Revit building information model and to streamline the process of building a complete model with associated construction documents. There have been significant advances over the last couple of years regarding what Revit can calculate within the model. The MPP has incorporated many industry-first calculations for fitting more family content into a smaller box and to provide users real-time information of the design with smart families. This is about getting results faster in the model and reducing the need for external resources and calculations which can be erroneous getting the data back into the model. This includes host family functionality, smart connectors, auto sizing families, mechanical HVAC calculations, and electrical sizing calculations. Simply put, the Mechanical Productivity Pack is a tool to help you get your job done faster. Welcome to the opening view. The Mechanical Productivity Pack was built with the end in mind and also it was built so that you can manage and maintain your content, your company's content moving forward. This development model that's included with the MPP, it's nine levels with a roof built out completely with all types of views for many different workflows to get vetted, validated, tested, and adjusted. The test elements views in the productivity pack are here so that you can see all of the content in the pack. Anytime new content is created, it is placed on these types of views. This uh, MEP test elements riser view shows every family type of every family included in the productivity pack. It's a place where BIM managers and engineers and designers can take a look at materials used. Um, you guys can get a sense in the level of detail that we're going after with our flanges, our duct flanges and pipe connections and clearances. And it's another way to see graphically how things will look in the 3D realm when architects start looking at this content. So in the test elements views, these are meant to be managed on the by the BIM manager. And as more content is added, these views are intended to be further developed. In the uh, test elements floor plan view, you can see that every family type is placed and tagged and all families get tested against the tagging system to make sure they have the proper parameters that they will schedule. And then also um, levels of detail and things like that are reviewed in these types of views. This is a great place to review the content, become familiar with it, and make adjustments as you need for your company's standards. The productivity pack also includes prefab design views set up to review what has been included in the pack for model groups. Model groups are one of the biggest workflows provided in the pack to gain efficiency and productivity by placing multiple families at once instead of placing one family at a time. Some of these model groups contain up to a couple hundred elements that can be placed simultaneously with placing one model group. Use these views to take a look at the model groups included and also the tags that are included with these groups. In the plan view here, you'll be able to see the tags that are also associated with these model groups that can be used when you place them. Model setup views. These views now are set up to help you get a specific project up and rolling. If we take a look at the floor plan here, You'll see that disciplines have been color coded in this type of view to help a user focus in on where scope boxes are for each discipline. So the scope boxes are these red boxes here that are used by disciplines. And this overall building scope box is used to crop hundreds of views in this productivity pack. This is the most important scope box to manage on your project. Uh, we've played around with some different visibility settings in here so that users, when they come back to adjust scope boxes, they can see exactly where elements might be located, making those fine tune adjustments. Typically, the scope boxes are not visible in other views. There's some additional 3D views that can help users get acquainted with a specific project. Things like the building 3D reference model is just an architectural type view to help users see what an architect's probably looking at in their building. Load calculation views are set up for things like HVAC zone diagrams. So when you start a project and you got to get spaces in your model and start doing some thermal zones, there's views set up for each level in this project to get that process going. In the 
existing building and grouping of views. These views are set up for modeling existing phases. So if you had a remodel type project, these views have the phase set to existing. So you can model all of your elements, trace over PDFs before moving on to the design model. The design model views are here to um, really enhance coordination and what's needed when you're working on design for a project. If we take a look at the HVAC GRD layout, there's a couple important elements that we've highlighted when you're placing diffusers. One is where are the light fixtures? You know, Let's make sure we're not placing diffusers on top of light fixtures. Also, getting the ceiling grid to stand out a little bit more for placement can help during design. There's a handful of different design views that have been set up and really enhanced for the mechanical productivity pack. I encourage you to take a look at more of these views to see how we've streamlined coordination efforts for the different disciplines. Once a design is complete and you start looking at analyses, there's some design analysis views included in the productivity pack. Maybe you are checking to see if all of your plumbing piping is connected. So this plumbing fixture units plan is a great place to do that. There's also flow diagrams for HVAC, um, for duct flow and velocity diagrams, and same on the mechanical piping side. So maybe one of the final stages, which is kind of actively going on during a design and a project is coordination. We've included some coordination plans to really enhance coordination with other disciplines. I'll refer to the coordination RCP plan for this discussion. And as you can see here, we're really dialing in the coordination pieces needed for an RCP. Things like diffusers, light fixtures, sprinkler heads, other devices that may be in a ceiling, they're all showing in this type of plan so the mechanical discipline can be aware of all these things that they, they need to coordinate with. And then lastly in the view structure is the construction permit drawings. These are the drawings that most people are familiar with. These are the drawings that get annotated and put onto sheets. So there is views for floor plans, for roof plans, for demolition plans, and even for details that you'll need on projects. All of these are included with the productivity pack. With all these views, it's very important to have a standardized set of view templates. View templates have been included in the mechanical productivity pack to maintain consistent symbol standards across drawing sets. They also provide faster update timeframes for multi-level drawing sets and they hold browser organization structure when new views are created. These view templates work in tandem with View Creator, the CTC tool. And as you can see here, they're broken out by all the different view types that we have partly covered and, and many, many more. You'll see floor plans, you'll see ceiling plans, you'll see roof plans, you'll see demolition drawings, you'll see mechanical piping has their own set of view templates. Plumbing also has their own set of view templates and then fire protection. There's view templates for schedules, for 3D riser views, for diagrams. And all of these are here to help you streamline how fast you can get new views created and also make global changes to all your views at once. View filters are equally as important as view templates. In the mechanical productivity pack, there is a very robust system of view filters that have been developed. This current release has gone through much refinement in the naming of these and the control of these to make them simpler and more easily understood. In versions past, these filter names have been very long, which was hard for users to follow. We hope that this is a much better balance of being able to read them and understand what they're doing. The view filters control everything from system information to different work sets to different type of family categories. And these are leveraged in the view templates to make it simpler to control visibility without needing to rely so much on work sets. That is the overview of the views included with the productivity pack. Now let's take a look at some of the other categories. There also are some legends included. If a BIM manager or if a firm needs to take a look at what the symbols look like or even the tags, take a look at these legends here. They have all the symbols placed as well as the tag summary. There are many schedules included with the mechanical productivity pack. They each have a very common format found in each discipline. Each discipline contains a general section of schedules, which includes detail index information. All the keynotes are found in this grouping. 
and then general notes can be found in any sheet schedules. This general grouping of schedules is consistent across all disciplines. Each discipline also will have its own unique set of family category schedules. For fire protection, there's a couple equipment schedules related to the fire pump and the jockey pump. If we take a look at the plumbing schedules, there's equipment schedules and there is also fixture schedules and even some pipe accessories. All of the schedules has, have been developed with the conditional formatting that you'll see more of later on in the presentation. For plumbing, there is design schedules that are used in tandem with construction permit, and this is for all disciplines. So fixtures have design schedules. They also have the, the schedules that end up on the drawings. And then there's even some piping design schedules and also schedules that would show up on the drawings. On HVAC, there's a couple additional, on mechanical, I should say, there's a, a couple additional categories. There's some GRD schedules that aren't found in the other discipline. And then there's also some ventilation calculation schedules that have been refined and rebuilt in the new conditional formatting in all the new schedules. Next, we have the sheets in the mechanical productivity pack. The MPP includes 200 plus sheets created with associated views and schedules already placed on sheets. This includes 10 levels of overall floor plans for HVAC, mechanical piping, plumbing, and fire protection disciplines, as well as several enlarged sheets for details, schedule sheets, design detail sheets, demolition sheets, and of course, title sheets. All of these components are needed to complete a job for permit, bid, and construction, so they've been included in the pack to begin with. The title sheets contain actual family content placed for dynamic legends. So as firms adopt this and make changes for their own company standards, the title sheets will update and be consistent with the drawing set. Each floor plan sheet contains a couple elements already on the sheet. There's a floor plan view that's placed on the sheet. There also is a keynote schedule placed on the sheet and then sheet notes are included on each sheet. These can be edited, and of course, since these are sheet notes and they're a schedule, as you edit these sheet notes on one sheet, they will update on the remaining sheets. There are a large amount of details included with the mechanical productivity pack. Just taking a look at a couple of the sheets in the development model, a firm can review what is included and decide if they want to use any of these or add in their own details. All the details in the productivity pack have been placed on sheets for this review. I encourage you to take a look at the PDF set. Schedules in the productivity pack have also all been placed so that users can review what they look like. Opening up the M601, a user can see how the color conditioning, the conditional formatting has been arranged on the schedules. There's colors that will be visible in these sheets, and that is by design. These are items that are important items needed for either bid or to complete a design. And so these colors are going to plot this way until the values are corrected. Please take a look at all the rest of the schedule sheets and review with your senior level engineers and stakeholders in regards to the columns that are shown, what data and units are visible, and header information. So as you can see, the mechanical productivity pack is far more than just family content. It's content set up in a project environment that should streamline the process of firms getting jobs done for permit, for bid, and for construction.